Are you setting us up with some coffee? Yeah. At least down uh, here behind the faucet. Our son is sleeping. We're having a little coffee chit chat party. I got a whole bunch of new fragrances that we're going to sniff together and kind of share our thoughts. I think we're going to have very different thoughts because there's like some really different fragrances in here. One that smells like a straight up croissant. And yeah, I have sniffed all of them before, but he hasn't. You need to make a very important decision first. Oh. Do you want Max being silly in his high chair? I'm gonna spill that coffee. Or do you want Max being silly in his stroller? In his stroller. <laughs> Max being silly in his stroller. Okay. That's my favorite. Cheers. Cheers. Now we're ready. So I have a whole bunch of new stuff here. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sniff it? Mm -hmm. Let's start with this one. Okay, you guys asked me to hold this up to the camera so that you can see the name very clearly. So here it is. Um, it is Green Butterfly from Byron. I think you have smelled this one on me. It's like nice and powdery. And there's a really cool note in here of dark chocolate, but it's not gourmand. Like, can I'm you, not getting that You at can't all. smell like a cacao in there? No. There's something different. I could pinpoint there was something different in that powderiness that when I looked up the notes, I saw there's dark chocolate. There's aldehydes, which make it kind of like soapy, and it's an iris dominant scent. Your mom hated this. Sorry if you're I wouldn't expect her to hate this, by she the way. She hated it. It smells very, I don't want to say natural, but it doesn't smell like a, like a heavy perfume. It smells like a little forest fairy. Like, it smells beautiful. It's light, but it's intense, if that makes sense, because like, you can really smell it. She said it was like stuck on her in the car when she was coming home. Uh, we only hung out outside. There's vanilla in here. Um, she notoriously hates vanilla, but I don't really pick up the vanilla. It's just there in the base kind of grounding it. Even somebody who would be sensitive to fragrances, I don't think should be offended by that. And sometimes we are, especially to ones that are very like synthetic or very heavy or very we chemical. Very it's like that green. I know that sounds weird, but it smells like that green. <laughs> it really does. It really smells like this green. This is like one of my new favorite fragrances. It is really, really long lasting. That's the other thing is like, it's great value because it really takes you through the entire day. And it is kind of a light, fresh scent, but intense. So really that like was that. nice. Yeah, I don't know why she hated it so much. She explained to me later that there was something in there that was like creating a reaction for her. So I don't know if it's the smell itself that she didn't like. Like at a molecular level? Oh yeah, like her her visceral. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think people should be scared by that no. in that sense. It's very nice. I think bottom line, if you like powdery fragrances, this is one of the best ones I've ever smelled. Here's one that I got from Ormond Jane. You smelled this on me yesterday and you loved it. Hmm. This... I already forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. When you smell it out of the cap, I find that you get more of the dry down than when you spray it on a paper and then you get more of the opening. So I always like to sniff it out of the cap if the scent is available. I like the other one better. Not that I'm comparing them at all. Oh, the that, green butterfly? Yeah, it had this more kind of freshness to it. This one. Oh, no, I like this one too. You really liked it on me. This one, I didn't mm. even say what it is. It's the new Levant Extraordinaire, which is a Harrods exclusive from Ormond Jane, which is heartbreaking because I wore it. It lasted through my overnight test. I could still smell it on my skin in the morning. So much so that I haven't even applied a new fragrance yet because I could really smell it strong this morning. And I can't get it in Canada. I once tried to buy it yesterday. They won't ship to Canada. So I have this and that's it. So any of you guys that have Harrods available to you and you like the original Levant, I highly recommend this because this is more of an easy kind of elegant daily wear version with a little bit more powderiness to it and less citrus. It's almost a warmer version and just an easier wear all on a daily basis. I really like Ormond Jane in general. It's like one of the brands that I've been really into lately. Just all of their stuff smells really elegant. So I have another one from Ormond Jane. This is Babylonia. I've been really liking this. A little bit intense, maybe like a nighttime, but it's nice. Yeah, this is like you're going out on, well, maybe not a dinner, but like you're going out, it's like a, a stronger nighttime. I don't even know what's in it though, honestly. So it's interesting they actually really like this because there is a dominant vanilla note as well as benzoin. But I noticed with you, as with me, we like benzoin, we don't really like straight vanilla. So benzoin is this kind of resinous, cloud-like, vanilla-esque scent. Mm -hmm. um, it smells rich and it doesn't smell quite as like 
food like sometimes vanilla can come off very gourmandy yeah i'm not i'm not a fan of straight vanilla no neither and, of us are really and this one has a nice powdery cloud like base and there's a strong black currant note in here but it's a sweeter black currant it's not a tangy black currant you know what i mean it's like you can't even say exactly that it's black currant it smells like some kind of man. fruit I really like this one. I, I agree that it's more of like an evening date night scent as a daily wear. It's a little bit aggressive. Yeah. 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 Even at work, it, it might be, I mean, for a little bit, sure, but a full day's worth of work on that, it might be a bit, you know, do your head in, as it were. And then one more from Ormond Jane. This one, too, has black currant, but this one's tangier. This is called Byzance. So I don't know if you can smell that. Maybe I should spray it. That's nice. Is that orange in it? So that's also black currant and cassis. Cassis is the leaf of a black currant plant that has that tanginess to it. This one's a, a much more airy and opened up from the other one. This one I would say is like not one of those intense kind of evening scents. This could be easily a daily wear. What I really like about this one, it has a nice kind of milky woodiness and that juxtaposition with the tanginess makes it so interesting. Like they could be sisters, Babylonia and Byzance. I feel like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see it. The black currant, for sure, you are getting more in this one. Didn't really get it on the other one almost at all, but this one you can definitely tell. Yeah, I really like them both. I find this one's definitely a really easy wear. Somebody asked me in the comments once if Byzance is uh, blind buy worthy. I think if you generally like scent profiles, like for example, commodity milk, or like generally those milky woody scents, this is a great one, but keep in mind that it has that added note of that tangy, like cassis black currant vibe. It's really nice. Like, I think this is a great daily wear type of scent. Okay, let's go down a very different path. This is a already a little bit of a spoiler. I got this one in PR, and this is from Sniff from their secret menu, and it is called Crumb Couture. Why do they have the packaging the way that they do? I know Can you're we not... agree that it doesn't look great? Look, not to be too bougie or anything, but presentation's pretty important. It just kind of looks... Oh, cool. oh but the magnetic cap, though. All right, I'm still done. <laughs> Take mind. it all back. Take that part out. This one's really different. You've obviously never smelled it. Well, they came, it came with a sample. I smelled the sample, mm. but I just cracked into the bottle itself. That's literally Cinnabon. Yes. Yes, it is. Cinnabon. Do you want to eat that paper? <laughs> I kind of want to dip it in the coffee, yeah? It's supposed oh, okay. to smell like a full-on croissant. Oh, okay. I get from it. From Couture. What, what, immediately, what I thought when I smelled this was, I want this in a candle right now. You know, like, when you pass by Cinnabon in the mall, like, if you're wondering what that smells like, that's it. Mm -hmm. You already got it. I love the scent. I don't want to wear it. I want to spray it in my house or like for realtors, if you have an open house and you want to make it smell welcoming, just give this a couple spritzes, right? Because you always want to make it smell very welcoming, apple pies, we bring in all kinds of things. Yeah, in a house. Like what if you just in a house. walked by somebody or you went into somebody's office at work and you're like, <laughs> did you just buy like a massive cinnamon? Yeah. They're like, no, that's just, that's just, I smell like that. It's kind of weird. If an employee was working and wearing this fragrance as a boss, I would go search their office for crumbs and food to Please. for fear of mice. Yeah. We had an infestation in my old office. I just wonder what kind of person it takes to want to just smell like that. Someone who can't have dessert and wants Yeah, and then you're tempting them. yourself all mm, day. And there's that sign. It's nice, but yeah, I, that, that's what it tastes, sm smells like. We are not gourmand lovers and we are not people who want to smell like an exact photorealistic croissant. Yeah, like a I, literal croissant. But I, but I acknowledge that there are people that do really love that and there's nothing wrong. Every, everybody should wear what they love. We don't typically like that. We like a lot of dry woody things that maybe a lot of you guys wouldn't like. But if mm -hmm. you are on the hunt for something that straight up smells like a Cinnabon or like a, like to me it smells like a chocolate croissant, like one of those like pan au chocolat. It's a great blend. Like, yeah, if you're after that scent. Spot on. Okay. Another one that I got from Sniff, and this is not from their secret menu. This is a collab with Professor Perfume, and they've created Vow Factor. I love all of their names. They're like really cute puns. Vow Factor was her um, wedding fragrance. So Professor Perfume, she's also a fragrance reviewer, and okay. she's collaborated with them. Uh, very different type of scent. I smelled this. You can smell it out of here. There's a lot of fig in here that I smell, so... Fig lovers, this is probably for you. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how you feel. You're not a fig lover in general. Uh, it's very, very figgy, but I'm a bit, I don't know. I love figs, but fig fragrances and candles have just not yeah. tickled me the right way for whatever reason. I have my favorite fig candle is the Lulabo fig. I love it. And then he comes in and he goes, it smells like weird food in here. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, this candle cost me $126 and I love it. I don't know. Something about it is maybe I'm still warming up to it. Yeah, I think this is a very fig centric fragrance. And I think for people who are on the hunt for fig, I would definitely recommend it. I wore it once. It is long lasting. It develops nicely. There's this like earthy green opening. It settles down into almost like a powdery thing. A really, really unique scent. Also like very forest fairy vibes like I think if I were to assign fragrances to like if you're going for like a forest fairy enchanting vibe this one and green butterfly and coincidentally they're both green but they both have this like interesting unusual like enchanting thing about Do you them. Do know anyone going for a forest fairy vibe? I think the only person is probably from 90 Day Fiance that we were watching Chris Christine. <laughs> One, one person that but, you don't even know her is on TV. To be fair, I don't know a lot of people. Period. That's true, I know. But Christine, if you're watching, I think this would be a great scent for you. You think she's watching? No. Yeah, same. Here's one that you really liked and you actually wore the other day. I would love to hear your thoughts on how you felt about yeah, it. Yeah, that one was nice. First, first thing, you know what stuck with me when you first saw this fragrance? <laughs> right. Okay, but bring it closer so they can all see. <laughs> Because first I thought that the label was upside down. Well, there's a small side and a big side, right? So when you open it up naturally, you'd think, oh, no. But, okay, so let's get over the fact that this is just dead space. That's fine. Mm -hmm. No, it's a very equilateral cube. So I remember thinking this was like pie. Is she want she pie? Oh, pie. Pie. I pie. thought you said pie, like eating pie. No. When you came in, you said it smells like pie, but smoky. I thought you meant pie that you eat. No, pie. It's Givenchy pie. pie. Right? Oh, got it, got it. I see what you mean now. Because it's got that like almondy vanilla. Very nice. Does the notes give us cacao pod, malt, um, ebony wood, vanilla, hazelnut, sugar cane? Hazelnut, woody, that kind yeah. of area. Yeah. Definitely I get the hazelnut. But it, it's blended very, very nicely. It almost has a little bit of a booziness about it to me. Yeah. I really like that kind of scent profile like a very non-chemically like an airy woody soft i don't want to say vanilla because i don't like it but when they add like hints of vanilla on that that kind of thing like pie that's the closest comparison that i would have i think in general you do like vanillic fragrances for men and you don't like them for women there's just something that yeah, happens yeah. in the masculine compositions that makes it work really nicely. But all straight vanilla or vanilla dominant scents for women, you just don't like. Yeah, those are awful. For men, totally different. Yeah, and they smell really good on you, all of your vanillas. And you have a lot. I don't think we said the name. This is Al Contrario. Al Contrario from Tiziana <laughs> Terenzi. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, if you guys are shopping for these niche brands, the greatest place to pick these up is so avant-garde because I have a coupon code for 20 off. It's Tiziana 20, it gets you 20 off. 20% 20 off is kind of a lot. So just putting that out there for you. And then I got Gris Charnel. Why did I get Gris Charnel? You may be wondering because I had a bottle as some of you may remember. And then it all got spent on my decant shop. And then I wore the last bit of it layered with Tinoir, the Lulabo lotion, just the lotion, not the fragrance. And it got me so many compliments. Like it was insane. I've never got so many compliments. So I was like, I guess I like it now and I need more. Except for me. You don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like it. Do you think people are gonna click out because of the chair squeaking? Please don't click out. It's just that we're trying our best. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> Gris Chanel. First, I do love the packaging and the scent. It did grow on me, and truthfully, the the compliment factor did contribute. I I think when people tell me that something smells nice on me, maybe it's a vanity thing. Maybe it's an ego thing. We can have a therapy session about it, but we are right now. <laughs> It makes me like the fragrance more. And I and I do like this stuff, but you don't like it. You say it smells like dill. Stop squeaking. I can't. It's been a while that we've been talking about this one. We don't disagree on a lot of things, mm -hmm. but I just can't. And yeah, dill, like me and sandalwood. Yeah, they don't get along at all. 
And I love dill. But it, as a food on your potatoes. And, and pizza dip. Uh-huh. But I just, no. I don't smell dill in here. To me, it smells very creamy, very rich, a little bit smoky. It's a tea scent. To me, it's more of a tea scent than anything. Like tea, cardamom, kind of milky with a sandalwood base. But even the most creamy, buttery, delicious sandalwood, you still don't like them. No. I can appreciate it for what it is, but really, just for me personally, I just can't. For me, this smells like a smoky tea scent. I get the cardamom, definitely get like that milky sandalwood, but it is predominantly for me a tea scent. I don't get a chai latte. I don't get like people compared to a latte. I don't really get that. But yes, I do really like Gris Charnel. And the only way that I personally wear it where I myself truly enjoy it is layered with the Tenoir lotion. So check out that combo. I, I really think it's super good. I went ahead and I picked up a birthday gift for myself and then guess who stole it? Yeah. It's the Madeleine and Goetz cannabis. Smelling it for the first time is odd because you're expecting different things. It. Do you think it smells like cannabis at all? No. Yeah, like it... It smells like can, herbaceous and fresh. Yeah, I can see kind of what they're going for, but you're fully expecting it to smell like weed. It doesn't. But it's so good. It is so good. I think more of a masculine scent though. This is one that I wear purely for myself because it does have that same like soothing vibe. You know, I can, I understand why they call it cannabis. It has a very like calming effect, very meditative and just like, it's just chill. Like it just makes you feel good. Uh, what's in it? It's mostly patchouli that's in here. There's no sage, but to me it almost smells sage-like. There's black pepper, magnolia, some other woody notes, cedar. The thing is the patchouli in the fragrance, it doesn't dry down to like a very patchouli scent, but I do get that in the hand wash. So I also got the hand wash. The hand wash for me, I don't prefer it because I do get a lot of that like kind of almost dirty patchouli scent, but I don't mm. get it in the fragrance. And the last one I have is M. Mikalev's Ylang and Gold. This is their newer packaging. It's beautiful. They don't have the see-through sparkles anymore no they repackaged it but they do still have the sparkles inside the liquid so when you spray it you still get a nice shimmer same formulation yeah just different yeah just a different packaging yeah this one's good i mean but you smelled it the other day you said it smells like sage what you didn't like i thought it. everybody loves this one i think everybody should love this one including me yeah it doesn't smell like kind of custardy like banana custard yeah but i Maybe I was having an off day. I don't know. I think it's the allergies. Sometimes it's allergies really play a number and then it's like you just don't smell things. Yeah, I'm around. just stuffed up and their things tend to smell weird. No, this one I love. The funny thing is though, there are herbal notes in here. There is rosemary and there is sage. I don't pick them up at all, but I think some people can be sensitive to that. Maybe on your off day, that's all that you were able to smell. Yeah. I get a little bit of like creamy fruitiness. I think it's such a great summer scent. I really go for this a lot in the summer. Sometimes almost too vacation-like. Like sometimes I feel like I'm lying to myself because like I'm wearing this around our neighborhood in our subdivision. Yeah. I'm not on vacation. But if I were to go on vacation, I think I would wear exclusively this. Yeah, that would work. I think that's all my new stuff. What do you, what would you say is your favorite from uh, all of them? The Mallet and Goetz one? Uh, no, actually no. Where is? Ah, al, con al contrario. Yeah that one because i've never had like a different version of pie yeah i guess it kind of smells like pie. i see what you mean pie was always just pie but this is like a something similar yeah. next to that one for sure the cannabis one mm -hmm. for me well aside from ylang and gold which everybody already knows that i love and i've had for a long time and this is a new bottle yeah of all of these if i had to pick one that really struck a chord with me i think i would say green butterfly i just think it oh, smells yes. So different, so enchanting, just beautiful. Like, it's so unusual, but there's familiar facets to it. Like, I just, I can't say enough good things about it. The fact that the performance is out of this world is also a big plus. I did smell the entire Byron collection. This one is my favorite from the entire Byron collection. So yeah, if your tastes are like mine, I think I would recommend you Green Butterfly. And that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with us and subscribe. Goodbye, cheers. And and a goodbye coffee cheers to everybody.